This is new, day one after my buzz cut. Um, I'm like playing with my hair, but there's nothing there to play with, lol. I don't know, man. I'm in love with it. Um, it's gonna take some getting used to. Like I feel, you know, like we hide behind our hair and I don't get to do that anymore. And um, I don't know, I'm probably gonna hide behind my makeup now if I'm being honest, because I don't wanna feel like a boy. But like, what is that? Why do I feel that way? Because I have short hair. Also, like, I kind of like that I feel that way, but I don't know if I want others to think that. I don't know, isn't that kind of weird? But yeah, I cut all of my hair off and it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to, but I'm excited to, to do that. Makeup. I never do like a full face unless I'm gonna be performing. But I definitely do like, highlight, eyeliner, eyeshadow, eyebrows, like on a regular basis. And then my lazy days are when I just do my eyebrows. Look how good that looks. I just, what? Can't, can't. Oh. Mm, there we go. Yeah. I probably won't do, I know I talked earlier about how I'm afraid I'll hide behind my makeup now that I've got short hair, but like now that I'm starting to do my makeup, and like look at myself more, like I'm probably just gonna do my normal routine. That's kind of exciting. Like I don't even know what that would add. It's not like I'm gonna put on foundation. Come on, let's be serious. Too lazy for that stuff. Can I test on YouTube? I don't even know, this is new. Also talking to yourself is kind of addicting. These blogs, vlogs, video blogs, these vlogs are gonna be kind of addicting. But I'm into it. Yay! Eyebrows. Mwah. Can't forget edge control. I fucking love this stuff. I freaking love this stuff. I don't, what's the policy, YouTube? What's the policy? <laughs> okay, I'm laughing because I'm noticing all these scrunchies around my bathroom, which is kind of ridiculous because I won't be wearing scrunchies for another few months, probably. This is my ex's toothbrush. In case you're wondering. Can't forget to take my vitamin. These are just like the cheapest ones at Walmart because I feel like I need to take them, but I also don't want to spend money on vitamins. But like, it kind of bothers me that. They're gum, like I need the gummy ones. Okay, I have to take gummy vitamins. Okay, know that pill crap. But it bothers me because they've got gelatin in them. And like I'm vegan. These aren't vegan. Like why do I, why am I eating them, you know? But I didn't know whether to sacrifice like vitamins or my like vegan values. Like, I don't know. This shit's hard, man. Like there's no ethical consumption under capitalism. I stand by that. But if anybody out there knows some good vegan gummy vitamins, like, let a girl know. <laughs> I need like a, like a forest green, like a, like an Izuku Midoriya green. If you know what I'm talking about. My favorite part, oh my goodness. This is not a makeup tutorial, so it's just me talking to myself, figuring out <laughs> what to do with the short hair. You know what I mean? <sighs> I love it. First thing like I wanted to do, after I got my dreads, like I knew I was gonna chop my hair off when I was done with my dreads. Um, Cause like who wants to go through taking those out? That's too much work, right? When you can just like chop all your hair off. I mean, you know, logical, right? And I told that to my boyfriend and, okay, so backstory. Um, we started dating just a few months ago, but like at that point I had my short fro longer than it is now, but like it was a fro. And like, that's when he like fell in love with me, right? And I was like nervous about getting my fake dreads. I was like, what if he doesn't think I'm cute anymore now that I've got my dreads? Cause like, he's a white boy and like love him to death. And I don't know, it was just like one of my, I don't know if it was like a worry and insecurity, but I was like, shit, like I'm gonna get blacker in like two weeks when I get my fake dreads. And like, what if he doesn't like me anymore? Anyways, um, he's like, Fantastic, of course, and 
when I told him I was gonna chisel my hair off, like he was the biggest supporter. He was like, do it, like right now, like do it. And I was like, what? Cause I like kind of said it joking, right? Like laughing, but serious. I was like, oh, like what if I chop all my hair off? What if I shave my head? And he was like, do it. You would look so great. And I was like, oh my God, thank you. And I did. <coughs> so my boyfriend and my best friend both got me the same present for Christmas. It's like this advent calendar of socks, right? Because I love socks and I love presents. So like I get a present every day. Oh, they know me so well. Um, but they both got me the Rick and Morty one, which is hilarious. So blessed to have people that know me and love me. But yeah, so. Anyways, my boyfriend returned his and got me the Disney one. So I'm opening up, oh, just dropped it. Opening up today's sock. So excited. It's Ursula. I played Ursula in a show last year. Oh my God, she's got such a place in my heart. I love the villain, the, vil the villain, the villainesses. I don't know. They're painted as like everything that a woman shouldn't be. You know, like they're loud, they're big, like especially Ursula. Um, their personalities are just like huge and like that's what I aspire to be, right? Like everything a woman's not supposed to be, but like everything that I am. So that's awesome. I don't know, that kind of like fits my hair story too. Like I feel like every time I've cut my hair, I like changed my hair, it starts as like something practical. Like, oh, like you're going to, you're going to college, your mom's no longer gonna pay for you getting your hair treated. So like you've gotta go natural, right? But then it like it turns into this like fuck you to society, right? Like why have look how cool. Like why have I not been natural all these years? Why did I feel pressure to like make my hair like fit a certain norm? Um, why have I not gotten to wear my hair the way it's supposed to be worn like all these years? Like I didn't do it until college, friends, like until I was 18. And same happened when I like chopped all my hair off this time. Like it starts as like practical, right? Like like not wanting to like pay for products or to get my hair done or like not wanting to have to like shower every day <laughs> to get my curl pattern back um, after it's like matted when I sleep. I don't know, or like when I work out, like since I'm a, um, an athlete and a performer, like it's nice to like not have to worry about like all this hair on my shoulders. Um, so like it started practical, but then like now it's turning into like a fuck you. Like why have I never been this short before? Why have I never felt like that was in my like realm of possibilities? Um, I have some like amazing friends that encouraged me once I like mentioned it, they're like, yeah, do it. Um, but like it took me this long to have the confidence to do that. And I don't know, like I look great. Like <laughs> fuck, I love it, you know? I keep cussing. I have such a potty mouth. I don't know, I might bleep those out later, I might not. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah.